Definitely something strange about this. In the boys' locker room, those aren't big breasted swimsuit models. <laughs> there's a poster of a popular boy. I mean, why would they put a big breasted swimsuit model, uh, model in the boys' locker room just so that the boys have more excuse to jack off in there? Whoa! <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to 4 Pixels. Kuku here with Kanetsu and we are continuing Don Gan Monta. Hi Hikumi. Ding ding ding! Hifumi has discovered evidence revealing the identity of the culprit! Uh huh. <laughs> Another stat increase for me! Evidence? Well, what did you find? I cannot reveal that just yet. You are so useless. But I guarantee that what I will that uh, But I guarantee that what I found will steal the killer's breath from his lungs. But then that make you a killer too. Uh <laughs> are you sure about that? <laughs> oh yeah. Miss Ludenberg said she'd witness something worthwhile too. Really? Well, what did she see? <laughs> she refused to tell me. It's like when a girl bullies the boy she likes, right? Right? Um, no, no. Uh, yeah. Sure, why not? Let's go with that. <laughs> okay, so where is Celeste now? <laughs> The warehouse by the dorms. She was there, but at the same time, not there. You know what? What's it gonna be? <laughs> oh boy. Oh, he threw me. I hate you so much. <laughs> Dude had a real complex about being weak. Uh, I already read this. Yeah. Hey, Kyoko, have you made any progress on your investigation? Yeah. Come on. Oh, I thought I was waiting for my leg, but no. <laughs> Uh, generally speaking, but I have to get going. I have something unrelated to take care of. Something besides the investigation? Uh, what is it? So, nothing you need to worry about. Just concentrate on the murder. Ugh, you cagey bastards, all of you. <laughs> <laughs> but, but. Yeah. Before I go, let me give you one piece of advice. You should examine Chihiro's body one more time, thoroughly. Also, her handbook is missing. You might want to determine its whereabouts. Why don't you? Yeah, why do I have to do everything? Jeez, you're obviously the like ultimate detective or something. <gasps> That's it. I'll be praying for your success. With that, Kyoko turned and left the girl's locker room. I guess I'll take another look at the body then. And Chihiro's handbook is missing. Well, I mean, she's dead, right? So it's probably in the mailbox.
Kyoko said I should examine the body one more time. Thoroughly. Uh, I know she said thoroughly. I just heard her <laughs> again somehow. Is, is she still in here? Uh, but do I? I do have my limits. Well, I better give it a shot anyway. Oh no, don't touch a dead girl's body. Let's thoroughly. see. Chihiro's hands are bound with what looks like some kind of rope. The rope was used to prop her up in a kind of crucifix position. Huh? This rope has a plug? How can you mistake an extension cord for a rope? For a rope. <laughs> like, even before they showed the plug, you could see it was an extension yeah. cord. Wait, so then this isn't a rope at all. <gasps> it's not? Oh my god. But the more I think about it, the more that's not the only thing that concerns me. Chihiro's fatal injury was the blow to the head. Which means someone struck her in the head in order to kill her. Sherlock Holmes. Yep, that's our detective. That's right. There's the issue of her being suspended and the fatal blow. At first I didn't see any reason to think too much about either of them. But seeing them again after looking through the Genocide Jack file, something's not quite right. What does this all mean? Nice. Well, the one thing most likely to tie all these mysteries together is the true nature of the rope that was used to suspend Chihiro. And to figure that out, there's a certain place I need to reuse it and look over again. Plus, it might help to look at the Genocide Jack case file one more time, just in case you didn't figure out which place he meant. <laughs> Do you have anything you need to say? Oh, no. Chihiro's presence here was especially weak. Her body and her soul. To target such a helpless being, it's unforgivable. What a wretched beast to do such a thing. I... I cannot forgive this. Alright. What, we can't go to the pool, Makoto? Yeah. It's a bloodstained poster. The blood is the most noteworthy part, but... The big-breasted swimsuit model is pretty noticeable, too. <laughs> The girls' locker room doesn't seem like the kind of place you find something like this. Don't, well, don't I mean, be it could be like... <laughs> it could be like motivation, like, Oh, I wanna look like her! <laughs> <laughs> it's a dumbbell! It's a dumbbell! It's a blood stain! <laughs> it's a blood stain! There's a blood stain on the table! <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking of that earlier today, and I just started cracking up. Oh, oh finally the boys. Nothing to see in here at all, whatsoever. <laughs> okay, is there any coins? This poster. That hair. <laughs> it's a popular boy band named Tornado. Somehow it doesn't quite seem to fit in the boys' locker room. Oh, but wait, that reminds me. The poster in the other locker room is... That's right, there's definitely something strange about this. In the boys' locker room, those aren't big breasted swimsuit models. <laughs> there's a poster of a popular boy. I mean, why would they put a big breasted swimsuit model, uh, model in the boys' locker room just so that the boys have more excuse to jack off in there? Whoa! <laughs> I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> That's just begging for it. Well, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> In the boys' locker room, there's a poster of a popular boy band. In the girls' locker room, there's a poster of a big-breasted swimsuit model. <laughs> so detailed about that 
<laughs> swimsuit model, though. No, you, you, you can't refer to her as the one with long, dark hair or purple eyes. No, it's her, it's her briefly. <laughs> or just plain swimsuit model. Yep. In fact, just to say the big boobs poster. <laughs> <laughs> Could the posters have been switched? But if they were, why? <laughs> what reason would anyone have? Maybe I should talk to someone who knows a little more about the locker rooms. There's a strange stain on the carpet. Hmm. <laughs> we were just talking about. No. <laughs> I would be really worried, considering how dark that is. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they just haven't done it for a long time. Oh god. We can talk to Sakura, or we can talk to Hina, because they're always here. But Sakura's right here, so let's talk to her. You spend a lot of time exercising in the girls' locker room, right, Sakura? So done. I've used it nearly every day since it opened up. Sometimes Hina and I use it together. Okay, then, let me ask you something. Do you think the posters in the boys' and girls' locker rooms could have been switched? Sorry, I can't really say. I never really paid any attention to the posters. I see. Sorry. But there is something that's been bothering me about the locker room. You see, I like to drink a little protein coffee every time I finish exercising. We have protein coffee? Oh. In the warehouse. It's not the highest quality, but I don't have a lot of other options. I mix protein powder in with coffee and down a glass of it after exercising. Ooh. Anyway, the other day I spilled some on the carpet in the girls' locker room and it left a stain. A stain? Dang but it! I don't see any stain on the carpet now. <laughs> so done. Exactly. I noticed it earlier. The stain has disappeared. And I can only assume someone came along and cleaned it up. But still. Isn't it unusually clean? As if there was never a stain here to begin with. Now I'm not sure. I guess we go and check the, uh... Notebooks? Oh yeah! I forgot about that. Uh, oh, hey Makoto, what's up? <laughs> I haven't been up to anything myself, that's for sure. Definitely haven't looked inside the mailbox. Subtle. Hmm, I guess we gotta believe him. There's a mailbox here, and inside are Junko, Leon, and Sayaka's e handbook. Whoa. Okay. Um, the rule says <laughs> loaning your e handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. Only lending it is against the rules. In other words, there's no problem with borrowing one. Also, it looks like Leon's handbook refuses to turn on. But according to Monokuma, it shouldn't be broken. Is it really unrelated to the case? Either way, something about it still bothers me. Um, anything here? Oh, that. <laughs> hmm. 
Alright, we find Celeste, maybe? Oh yeah, she's in the warehouse. I don't remember where that's at. Maybe we should have confessed our embarrassing secrets after all. Damn it! I'm sorry, Chihiro. It's all because I wasn't strong enough. Aww. You're fine, you're fine. Maybe near the kitchen? Because oh, that's where Sakura gets her coffee. It only makes sense. There it is. Celeste, what are you doing here? <laughs> this warehouse is amazing. It has absolutely everything one might need to live a full life. From food to clothes to towels, there's an endless supply to choose from. I see that, but have you found anything related to the case? Uh, I knew you were going to ask me that. I thought talking about the warehouse itself might just misdirect you, but I see it was pointless. Then you did find something. <laughs> Very well, I will tell you and only you. Finally someone's gonna tell us something. Finally, and less of all people, that's surprising. <laughs> Last night I saw her here. Chihiro was in the warehouse. What? Really? Yeah. This was right before night time. What are you doing out this late? Uh, oh, um, I... I was just... Are you planning to go exercise, perhaps? なんでわかったの？うう、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
Man, I, I thought those were just abnormal <laughs> vegetables. There's all different kinds of food stacked up. I don't see anything noteworthy. There's all kinds of stuff piled up everywhere. Towels, jackets, look like they put together a good collection of school equipment. Doing? If she's even there. This is Toko's room. I should probably leave her alone for now. Thoughts. Hmm. So she just left her position and came here. <laughs> she needed to get some food. Hey, Hina, how's Toku doing? <laughs> Same as before. She won't come out and she just keeps on mumbling something about Genocide Jack. <laughs> so I just left her there. <laughs> At least she's honest, honest about it. <laughs> you left her? My head was all swimmy and I was getting pretty hungry. But don't worry, I'm gonna head back as soon as I'm done eating. Toko's not exactly pleasant. And she doesn't smell all that good, but I'm still worried about her. Yeah, she does smell pretty bad. Don't shower. Speaking of which, what are you eating? A donut, of course! Of course? There's two things I'm sure God created. Outer space and donuts. Really? Mm -hmm. I bet Shihiro would have liked to eat more donuts. Maybe that was her one big regret. I think that's only yours. Yep. <laughs> Never mind how she was going <laughs> on about wanting to be stronger. That's not important. Yeah. I should have tried to spend more time with her. Come to think of it, who did she spend time with? Yeah, she was a little bit strange. Didn't really hang out with the other girls much. It was like... She was trying to keep her distance from us. Actually, Sakura said something similar. She said that even though you and her invited Chihiro to exercise with you, she always refused. Yep, it's true. And it wasn't just us either. It was like she stayed away from all the girls. Was she just... I don't know. She talked to the boys all the time. Isn't it kind of weird to be shy around your own sex, but totally fine with the opposite sex? <gasps> oh wait, maybe... Maybe she was used to guys spoiling her. The law says you can't judge a book by its cover, right? You think so? I never really saw her as that kind of girl. Alright, and then I guess the library is the last place. Yep.
but like a whole, about the whole like opposite sex, same sex stuff. I sometimes feel like really self conscious when I'm around like a bunch of girls. Yeah, I can understand that. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of it just depends on how you grew up. Cause like, I was never that bothered around guys since I had two of the older brothers. Mhm. Mm well, I have two sisters, and I still kind of feel that way. But as you get older, you kind of get used what to it. Mean? <laughs> yeah. <Aww. laughs> I got kind of bullied by girls as I grew up, but mm. it's okay. I got two deep. <laughs> They'll be nice to me. Um, Advo was making a made a, <laughs> another really smart comment about how he Fumi always goes on about how he likes two D girls, but technically all the girls in this game are two D. <laughs> Oh my god, you're right! <laughs> hmm, I know it's around here somewhere. Huh? It's gone. Dang it, you should have Did taken it earlier. Did you get out of the archive? The only one who would do something like that. I can't think of anyone but Biakia. Biakia. Biakuya. Could have been Kyoko too, because she left earlier. That's true. She was like, I got something to do. Kyoko. What? Huh? That lamp won't turn on. Oh, I see. It's not plugged in. The lamp is long enough to reach the outlet from here. But last time I saw it, it was definitely on, and it was definitely right here. Well, that's right. Biakia was using an extension cord. Connect the dots, Makoto. Come, Come on, on. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> but there's no extension we believe in you. cord here, which means it must be, must be somewhere else. Somewhere else. Oh, man. Where yeah, have I, I seen one? I wonder... I wonder if... Come on! Something. Oh, my God. <laughs> I wonder if it's in a different place. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that went pretty fast. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. Shall we just plunge right in? It's the moment you've all been waiting for. The class trial. You remember where to meet, right? I'm just gonna tell you anyway. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. Considering Makoto's memory, he he needed that reminder. <laughs> red door? Where have I seen one? <laughs> See you soon. You know, I've never tried looking at those uh, screens behind him. I was looking at the purple yeah. one just now. I was like, where's that at? That <laughs> I can just like barely make it out, but it looks like some giant demon dude is standing in front of a door <laughs> or something. Yeah, like just sitting there waiting for someone to open it. <laughs> begin the class trial, or you don't have a it's choice. About to begin the red door is right through here. Exciting! Um, so is everyone ready to- What? Hmm? Am I blind or are we missing someone? Toko? Uh, yeah. Toko's not here. Huh? And Toko is- Oh, 
Oh. oh. You really don't remember? Maka, maka. Kidding! I'm just kidding. Oh god. I'm... How could I forget that little nut job? She's a crucial part of the class trial this time. I'm just gonna spoil it. Okie dokie, I'll go ahead and drag her out here kicking and screaming. Just one moment, please. And just like he said a few minutes later, he reappeared, dragging Toko behind him. <laughs> I told him I didn't want to, but he, he forced me. I can't believe you would drag a girl around. <laughs> terrible! You're t terrible! <sighs> Phew. So now everyone's here, right? Okay then, hustle onto the elevator and let's get this show on the road! I'll see you guys down there! So, shall we get going? It's time to find out who killed Jihiro! And on that note, we will end things right there. Cliffhanger! <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us, and see you next time.